All right, so my name is Dibby Edwards. I work for IBM, and I am the Vice President of Watson IoT Offering Management um, for our continuous engineering, our IoT for automotive, our IoT for insurance solutions. I have a team of really great offering management folks, and our job is to look at the market um, and to build strategies and offerings around how we and how we take those uh, offerings to market. So our customers are the VPs of engineering and engineering organizations that build software that are part of this larger IoT products that they're selling these days. And then we also have um, specific um, IoT industry offerings for automotive um, and insurance, where they're customers that want to bring IoT transformation to their businesses and leverage the data that they're producing for their business advantage and to transform um, how they're doing business with their customers. One of the most interesting things um, about, let's say, in the automotive industry is there is so much data that the automotive clients are collecting and they're actually lose, using less than 1% of that data for their business advantage. So they, all of this data is sitting there and they're not leveraging it. And so one of the most important things that they need to do is to work with someone like ourselves who has some capability that we can bring Watson to bear to help them get the most in advantage out of that data, to turn that information that they've collected about their customers into opportunities for them to expand their business, open up new you know, services opportunities with their customers, and, you know, and, and think about it from that perspective. Perspective. You know, many of the, the companies that we are working with um, are usually very large organizations um, that are trying to do agility at scale. And, and I think, you know, one of the challenges associated with that is a lot of people think that saying you're agile means that you are agile. Um, but what they don't recognize is that to adopt and, and accept the, and get the transformational benefits of something like Agile, there's a lot involved in doing that. Um, tools are an important part of that because they can help you deal with some of, let's say, the siloed information that you have and they can allow you to create an environment that supports collaboration. But there also has to be work and emphasis around um, improving and transforming processes about how the team works. And then maybe even most importantly, focusing on cultural changes and helping the people understand the value in working differently and, you know, and getting them involved in the process and really making it a transformation um, of their business and a transformational process, not just a set of tools that they try to bring in and implement change. And once they implement this, you know, this agile um, way of working, you know, I think a lot of people um, maybe don't realize that you will see benefits along the way. It's not like an end journey that you're getting to. There's a constant focus on continuous improvement, improving the processes and getting value uh, along the way. So the way I kind of describe it is a journey to adopt agile practices and, and you get benefits from that along the way. One of our biggest um, transformations in IBM right now um, is sort of been our move from being a more um, a transactional sales model where we sell our products and our customers host them to now becoming um, a SaaS company where we actually run our products and we host our clients. And it's made us really think differently about everything about our business. So um, we have to, you know, you know, we learn a lot more about the, the performance characteristics and how the product works. We also, um, you know, the focus on the user experience and the way that the products are adopted is also a lot more important because they have to be interested in the product immediately and it has to provide them a valuable experience. Um, or they're, they're not going to continue using it and they're not going to be actually interested in adopting it. So it's really been a shift in that sort of model of thinking about on-premise, you know, software sales and strategies to now moving to a very different model where it is consumed either, you know, by the device or by the, in, you know, by the user, you know, that sort of model. So that's been a big shift. The challenge of moving from a business where you're primarily driving on-premise software to one that's primarily driven by SaaS is a very big uh, transformation at every level from our development teams in terms of how they think about what they deliver and the experiences that they want to deliver it to our sales teams in terms of you know how they you know their thought process around how they sell it the value they sell it to to our clients the things that they need to understand and everything about how they sell it is very different and then also our offering structure has to be very different um, you know no longer are you you know sort of bundling big amounts of capability and selling large volumes of software, it's much more you know, lighter weight, more user focused, and easily consumable.
It has to be more easily consumable. Today I talked about something that I think is actually really important and um, it's, it's called, um, in my, you know, it's really close and near and dear to my heart and my clients is what's called the digital twin. And what this is about is that, you know, as, as we become more and more in digital and online and understanding our products in terms of um, how they're built and, and all the software components that go into that and the electrical and mechanical components that it takes to build a real IoT product. It's real challenging, um, you know, massive data to keep track of. And so the digital twin is really about helping our clients get their arms around that, being able to capture that data, bring it, being able to bring our Watson capabilities to bear on that data to help them better understand it, the relationships between those capabilities. And I think that is going to be a really important transformational set of capabilities that we can bring to our clients. And then taking that capability, it's about the internal sort of workings of the product and adding IoT to that and bringing those products to life is a really, really exciting opportunity because now can they not only understand how their products work internally, but they now have you know, how their clients use it, how their products behave, and they can do a much better job of engineering those products, as well as making them fit their client needs. So it's a really exciting opportunity um, for, uh, um, for us to help our clients um, realize.